what's a blue line? And more importantly, how do I make one? In Photoshop, open up the pencil file you want to change to a blue line. Next, click Image, then Mode in the drop-down menu. And click Duotone. In the box labeled Type, make sure Monotone is selected. A single color choice should be available for you to select under ink number 1. Under HSB, I have the numbers 203, 25, and 100 selected, respectively, though mostly any range around the color blue should work. I chose a lighter blue because I wanted to print lighter. Your printer may vary, so adjust accordingly. For this example, I made it darker so you can see how the monotone works. Next, set the image size for printing. I usually select 600 dpi at 11 by 17. It's a fairly standard comic size. By selecting Ctrl or Command p for printing, I set up the image for my printer, which is an outmoded, obsolete, but excellent Epson Stylus Photo 2200. I make sure the correct paper type is selected and that it's the correct size. I typically print on smooth 500 series Strathmore 2-ply Bristol paper. But wait, there's more! When it comes to scanning, I use my ancient 8.5 by 14 inch Epson Expression 1280 scanner to scan all my comic art. Because of the large paper, I have to scan it in three sections. The reason for that is that I have enough overlap for when I merge all three images together. In Photoshop, I go to File, Import, and click WIA Support. Please note your scanning software may vary here. I typically scan work like this as a bitmap, pure black and white image at 1200 dpi. I've done it this way for most of my projects. Once all three sections are scanned, I go to File, Automatic, and click Photo Merge. The Photo Merge window comes up. On the left side under Layout, I select the Reposition option. Blend Images Together should be selected at the bottom, and then click OK. It takes a little while for Photoshop to assemble everything, so be patient until you see all three layers oriented and the full-size image. Each layer will have a mask layer. I then collapse everything by hitting Ctrl or Command E. I then duplicate the layer by hitting Ctrl or Command J and fill the bottom layer with white to make sure all the edges are solid before collapsing everything again. From there, I'll clean up any details and then save it in the file format and size I need. And that should do it. Hopefully that helps. Good luck with your own work. Thanks again for joining me today. If you found any value in this, hit the like button. Better yet, subscribe or tell a friend. Until next time, thanks for watching.